Aww, you wanna be in today's video? You're so cute. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. Happy Friday. Today's video is just going to be super chill. I'm going to talk all about my hair color. I did take you guys to the salon yesterday, so I'm going to be showing clips of me actually getting my hair color done. And we're gonna talk all about my hair color, my cut, toner I use, like all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's get started. This is probably my most requested video and that's to talk about my hair color and all that good stuff. So the only reason why it's taken me this long to actually make this video and take you guys to the salon is because I only get my hair colored twice a year. So I know that that was a question you guys asked, you know, what is the maintenance on like balayage? That's what I get where the highlights don't start start like exactly at the top of the roots. They're just kind of like weaved in and it's way more natural that way, but also it's budget friendly that way because you don't have to keep getting your hair color and keep up with like highlights like every month. And also it's better for your hair because you're not getting it colored every month. So those two things are definitely a win for me. I like to keep my hair very like effortless. You guys know I love like beach waves and I don't like to use a ton of products in my hair and I like very low maintenance colors. So the first thing is I just wanna take you guys through a quick little story about my hair. I started doing balayage in high school because I always naturally kind of had a balayage thing going on in my hair. Like my hair was never like a solid color naturally. It always had like different colors in it, like light pieces, like brown, dark brown, blonde, and all that. So I wanted to kind of intensify that. So in high school, it's kind of when I started balayage and nobody was doing balayage in my school at the time. Like they were all doing like highlights, but my mom, she suggested that I do balayage because she was like, you're in high school. You're not gonna be getting your roots touched up every month. You're gonna start with something simple effortless and very natural looking and something I only have to do once a year so I started doing it in high school and then that's kind of when my hair started kind of the, the color started taking a turn for the worse and I didn't I didn't love it what I ended up realizing about my hair very early on in high school like I said when I started getting like highlights and stuff is that my hair is very warm like by looking at the roots and stuff hairstylists will be like no it's not that warm but it pulls very warm. And that's one thing that I now know about my hair, I know about my hair color, is that it does want to tend to go warmer. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think warm hair is gorgeous. But those of you guys that do dye your hair know what too warm can do, and that is going brassy. So I kind of always have had issues with going brassy, going very like orangey, you know what I mean? So if you color your hair and you like get blonde and that kind of stuff, you know exactly what I'm talking about, that you don't wanna be too warm because you already know it's going to eventually get brassy. So I could never find a hairstylist to give me that neutral, like I'm not saying I wanna be cool tone or anything, but just a neutral, not brassy color until I moved to Los Angeles. So when I moved to Los Angeles, I started going to 901 and we're actually coming up on two years now that I moved here. So I've been going to Tabitha for almost two years now and that's who you're gonna see do my hair. And her husband, Tim, he also works there as well and he does my cut. Your hair looks really great. Oh, yay! This is Tabitha, everyone. The best hair colorist in LA. <laughs> White in your base, one level. So hold this for a second. Let's see if we can try to show that. Like this here is your natural color. Okay. And then I lift this up. So we, you were actually here in August. When was it? August what? August 22nd. August 22nd. Today is March 15th. So that's a long time. Yeah. So this is all your new growth. And then if you can see, like right about here. We'll zoom. You got that zoom you can going. See like that. We lighten your natural one level. One so you level. You don't want to go more than one level. Okay. Than your natural because it gets too orangey. That's yes. where I think a lot of people run into issues with like brassiness. Yeah. And then the other thing too, it's great that it's not like a hardcore line. There is like where you're free with it. So what we're gonna do is. We're gonna touch up your base color, is what we call when you lighten your natural as a whole. Okay. And so we're gonna do that. We're going to, um, then you'll get your hair cut most likely. Yes. And then we're gonna dry it, and then we're gonna do all your pretty highlights. If you do tend to turn brassy fast like I do, then you don't wanna go too warm with your hair color. And like I said, you don't have to go cool tone if it doesn't go with like your skin tone or something. Like for me, like going way too, I love cool tone hair by the way. Um, I love it on other people, but on me, it would really wash me out. So I have to be somewhere like 
neutral to like a tiny bit of warm. For me, what's really helpful is getting the color to be neutral and then just keeping up with it at home until the next time I get my hair done. So that's really what helps as far as brassy tones go. If you leave the salon and your hair's really warm and it's warmer than you wanted, there are really no products you can do to kind of counteract that. Like, of course you can use different purple shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that, but it's really hard to get like that neutral color that you were looking for initially. I asked her yesterday, okay, if somebody wants similar to my hair, you know, neutral, not too warm, not too cool, what should they ask for? And so of course you wanna ask for balayage, that way it's like natural, like weaved in, but that's just the style, that's not the color. So as far as the color goes, she said to- Then we just refine it with like a nice kind beige -y. If, if you yeah. like this color, I would ask for like beige to like slightly honey tones. No, I love when you do yeah. beige. I yeah. like beige looks the best because yeah. it doesn't get too brassy on okay. me. So if you like a similar color to what I'm doing, she said to ask for beige. So that's what we do with my hair. And I personally love beige. Beige is like, it's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just like that perfect like middleman, like that perfect neutral color. Okay, so the first thing that they're doing is working on my base color. So this is what Tabitha was talking about earlier when she said you only wanna go one shade lighter than your natural color. By the way, we're talking about Harper and Wyatt and I'm telling them like funny stories about them. <laughs> And that's so I don't get hot root. Hot root. Yeah. Hot root. Look at me with the lingo. No <laughs> hot root. <laughs> and now we are doing the highlights. So she calls this foliage. So it's like balayage, but it's with foils. And this is where we are doing those pretty beige colors and honey colors. I did get my hair cut first, which I'm going to be talking about in the next part, but I wanted to keep all the highlighting parts together. But you do want to make sure you get the hair cut first. <laughs> this is your best work. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> and then this is probably one of the most important parts and this is the toner so the color that I use for toner is called a dark blonde that's what Tabitha told me to say it's a dark blonde but it is a neutral tone so this is really important after highlights using the right toner that way you're not too orangey or you're not too green And this is the best part, getting the blowout and seeing how it all comes together. And she did an absolute gorgeous job. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about before we talk about products and all that is the cut. So I always get questions about the cut. This time we did have to go a little shorter than I normally go. So my hair was like a little bit past my boobs and I think we took off two inches, but that's because my ends were so dead. Have you guys been talking about the cut? Yes, so Tim does my cut. For Tabitha, when I came and saw her, I told her, what I wanted for my highlights. Tim told me what I was doing for my cut. <laughs> so, I care. Yes. You need to have it. Yes. So, can you explain the cut? Day. We're cutting, yes. Another drill as long as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Only take off. He gets it. Two. Yes. So, we're looking at this stuff here. The stuff that is see through. That's the stuff. Darn it. I love you, and you know that. Yes. But the see-through stuff has to go. Okay. And we'll bring this up a little bit around your face. Yeah. Keep all this long and full through the back. Super easy. Do I have layers? Yeah. Always. Okay. Really long layers though. Okay, really um, long because layers. Because I want to keep your density in the bottom as much as possible. Okay. So I work a little bit of a shorter face frame, and then I'll layer in through the back, but it's only basically just the stuff that lives up here. Leave-in conditioner first. Yep, always, always. Set so I've, mainly towards the ends. And I have really naughty hair. Time lapse it. And since I do have thick hair and I have a lot of it, my hair will tend to grow like this way. It'll be like really poofy and really hard to do at home by myself. It gets super knotty and it's just not fun to do. So he was like, you need layers all throughout your hair, not just like in the front. So people would cut my hair in the past definitely with layers and stuff, but they would only really like frame my face and not really do the back. So what he does is he does long layers all throughout my hair. So if you want a similar cut, definitely try that out. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about hair products. And by the way, both of my hair products that I have right here are both soaking wet because I just took them from my shower. But basically what I was talking to Tabitha about yesterday, I was trying to find out, you know, what hair products should you use and this and that. And she basically said, there's a lot of different shampoos and conditioners you can use. Talk to your hairstylist, you know, see what they recommend because we are spending all this money on our hair, on toners, on color, on cuts that you might as well just keep up with a good routine at home. 
That way your hair doesn't turn any faster than it has to. I know for me that's like a big thing. Like I don't want my hair to turn brassy or warm any faster than it's going to anyways. Um, the other thing I want to mention is I only wash my hair once a week, which so many people are like, how do you do that? That's like, that's crazy. But for me, my hair is naturally very dry, so it doesn't get oily. And also, you do eventually train your hair. So always just try to go one more day, and eventually your hair will get used to not producing so much oil. Anyway, these are two shampoo and conditioners that um, Tabitha approves of and says that I could use in my hair. The first is the Gold Lust Conditioner by Orbe. I also have Orbe shampoo, but I have no idea where it is right now. I'm like mixing and matching today. And then I'm also using the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Cleansing Duo. Duo. And it says it's for very dry hair. And just like this one, I also have the matching conditioner, the invisible hair oil conditioner by Bumble and Bumble. But yeah, I've just been using these together. And then every two weeks, instead of using the Orbe conditioner, I go in with this Evo conditioner that I did buy from Tabitha Salon. So this stuff is literally magic. So it is a conditioner, but it's a purple conditioner and it will tone your hair. But she did say just don't use it every time because then your hair could turn like purpley and like kind of change the color you have going Going on so only do it like once every two weeks the other day I got a blowout and I brought this with me and I was like yeah I just kind of want to freshen up my hair and literally so many of the girls that were working at the salon were like taking a picture of it because they said that my hair was literally changing colors in the sink like it went from kind of brassy like orangey tones to like this color hair not completely but you know what I mean very close so this will definitely help you stay neutral it'll help you stay on the cooler tone. and this was another Tabitha recommendation and this is the unite seven seconds conditioner and this stuff literally smells amazing this is another one that if I bring it to a salon with me they're like oh my god what was that that smells amazing and this is really great for people that have really knotty hair like me so the minute I get out of the shower I have extremely knotty hair I have to go in with a detangle so I'll go in with this one and that's really all the products that I use I really believe in a simple hair care routine because the worst thing you can do for your hair and I know from experience is using so many products like first you go in with shampoo and conditioner then a hair oil then a this then a that then a that. it starts to build up on your hair I wanted lighter pieces in my hair I wanted to be neutral all that build up would make my hair look darker it would be really hard to style and wash out and if anybody was coloring my hair they I could feel that build up and that's just from a buildup of products so even though some of those products were doing good for my hair using too many at once doing me no favors so definitely keep your hair care really simple when you are dyeing your hair go very slow don't let somebody just take you from dark brown hair to then like light you know what I mean so going light might seem like a process it might seem long but honestly just think about the fact that if your hair gets damaged in any way that that could even be a longer recovery time honestly some of the worst things that could go wrong have happened to me once my hair turned blue I kid you not like she took off the foils and the whole front of my hair like all these really light pieces instead of being like a frosty like vanilla beige blonde they were blue like straight up like mermaid like turquoise like it was actually kind of pretty but like I didn't want that and then I had to go back a second time and have her fix that and then that was really damaging on my hair another time someone turned the inside like all these pieces orange like straight up not just like a little warm or like a little orangey red like they were straight up orange so I definitely learned the hard way that just because someone is really great in one area of hair doesn't mean that they're necessarily really great in coloring or balayage or something like that so you just want to make sure that when you are choosing a hairstylist that you ask them you know do you do balayage frequently you know do you do color frequently that way you know that this person is experienced so that's everything guys if there's anything that I didn't answer in this video comment down below and I will answer any questions that you have regarding hair or anything products anything Anything like that so I love you guys so much have an awesome day have a great weekend and I'll see you guys soon bye